All right, this is fifth grade, module one, lesson nine. We're gonna be adding decimals. Uh, initially, we're gonna be using some place value strategies, but pretty quickly, we're gonna get straight to that standard algorithm. So here we've got um, the units method, or their, their labels. So you've got three tenths plus four tenths. Uh, is equal to 7 tenths. So it's kind of like saying if you have 3 apples plus 4 apples, you get 7 apples, all right? Now, underlying this, though, parents and teachers, is the concept of having a place value chart. And let's say the place value chart is you've got your tens, you've got your ones, and then here's your decimal point, and then you've got your tenths, and you've got your hundredths, et cetera, et cetera, all right? And so underlying this is this concept of saying, well, if three-tenths, three-tenths can be represented as one, two, three, and then four-tenths can be represented as one, two, three, four, and so in all, we can say we have, in all, we have seven tenths, all right, also written as 0 0.7, all right. Um, that is your extra bonus because Eureka Math is not requiring us to write that yet. <clears throat> and then similarly, we can look at this next example, 12 tenths plus 9 tenths. So this is where, um, you know, some parents and teachers are kind of getting a little shaky on this because it's written kind of in an interesting way. So if we say 12 tenths, well, what does 12 tenths look like? Well, 12 tenths looks like this. It's going to look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's our 12 tenths. And then it says now add in 9 tenths. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, teachers, notice I'm trying to follow that 10 frame uh, routine to make it easier for us to kind of keep track, all right? So I'm making everything based on that 10 frame. And so now we know that anytime you have 10 of something, you can cash it in for one in the next column over. So here we've got 10 tenths. So we can cash those in for a 1. And then down here, we know we have 9 plus 1 more. So I'm going to do 9 plus 1 more. And that equals a 1 whole. So we end up with 2 in the 1's place. And we have one little guy left over right here in the tenths place. So we end up with, first off, we have 21 tenths. That's this. You had 12 plus 9 is 21 tenths. And that translates to two ones and one tenth. One last quickie uh, here, doing thousandths. So, all right, so we've got ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So here's our ones. Here's our tenths, here's our hundredths, and here's our thousandths. And they want us to start with, uh, right here, eight thousandths. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, following that 10 frame protocol here, five across, three, leaving two blanks. And then we have six ones and eight thousandths. So that's going to be six ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then eight thousandths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now it's time for us to add. Now, initially, they're saying they want us to um, record it only in thousandths. Well, I'm going to propose we do something a little uh, different, and I'm going to say, well, let's first simplify and get it in a standard answer, all right? So our standard answer is we're going to look for groups of 10. So we have 8 up here, plus I'm going to grab 2 down here, and that will make 10. So that allows us to cash those 10 in for a hundredth. And so what do we end up with? We end up with 6 ones, 
no tenths, one hundredth, and we end up with six thousandths left over. So our, our correct, you know, standard answer would be 6.016, or 6 and 16 thousandths. But they want us to label it in terms of thousandths only, so the answer would be 6,116, 6,116 thousandths. And that's that answer there. Solve, now we're going to use just that standard classical algorithm. But the idea is, now we can help students um, stack things in, in terms of the place values. So when we've got 0 0.4, so we're going to put 0 0.4, and now we've got this 0 0.7, or 7 tenths. Well, these are tenths, 4 tenths, and this is 7 tenths. So that means the 7 needs to go beneath the 4, I'm backtracking, because if we were to put that in a place value chart, uh, we would have 4 dots in the tenths column and 7 dots in the tenths column. That would give us 11 dots, but that could be cached in, because uh, you're kind of like saying 4 plus 1, I mean, 4 plus 7 is 11. That means you can cash 10 of those in for a tenth. I mean, uh, for a one, one hole. And now you have one hole plus zero holes plus zero holes gives us one hole. So you have 1.1. 1. 1.1. 1. 1. 1. I'm going to skip problem B. I'm going to skip it because I like problem E better. So uh, remember... We can, I'm going to simulate real quick, tens, ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So we've got our tens here, we've got our ones, then we've got our decimal, then we have our tenths, hundredths, and our thousandths. So remember, if we were going to model 72.564, what would that look like? Well, if we were going to model it, it would look like 7 in the tens place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It would look like 2 in the ones place. It would look like 5 in the tenths place. It would look like 6 in the hundredths place. And it would look like 4 in the thousandths place. Now, if we were going to model 5.137, well, we would put 5 in the 1's place. We would put 1 in the 10th's place. We would put 3 in the 100th's place. And we would put 7 in the 1,000th's place. So if we were going to record it using that standard algorithm, where would we put the 5? Well, we would put the 5 in the 1's place. So that means the 5 would go right... Oops, I don't want to do big fat writing. I want to do nice skinny writing. So let's fix that. Okay, so we would put the 5 right here. And then the 1 in the 10th's place would go right here, and then the 3 in the hundredths place, and the 7 in the thousandths place. And now we're ready to add. And so you've got 4 thousandths plus 7 thousandths. That gives us 11. So that means we're going to put a 1, carry the 1. And then we've got in the hundredths place, we've got 1, 6, plus 3. So that's 10. 10 hundredths. So that means we're going to have zero left over and we're going to cash all 10 of those into the tenths place. Then we have 1 tenth plus 5 tenth plus 1 tenth. We've got 7. Nothing to carry over. And here's our decimal place. And then we've got 2 ones and 5 ones. So we've got 7. Sometimes we call them units. So we've got 7 units. And then in our tens place, we have seven tens and no tens, so we have seven tens total.
So our answer is 77.701. Now, parents and teachers, if you wanted to, you could model that down here with our dots, and you could circle things, cash in 10 of them, get the dots over here, etc., and you would end up with the exact same answer. But right now, we're trying to focus on teaching our students how to use that standard algorithm. And our last problem for this video is we have a walk, walkway over the Hudson. It is a bridge that crosses the Hudson River in Poughkeepsie. It's 2.063 kilometers. And uh, Anping Bridge, which was built in China 850 years ago, holy cow, is 2.07 kilometers. What is the total span of both bridges. So the idea is we're going to add them. And we need to add like units. So this 2.07 thing, so this 2 represents the whole numbers, the units. So it's going to go underneath this 2. This 0 represents the tenths, so it's going to go under this 0. And this 7 represents the hundredths, so it's going to go underneath the 6. So let's do that. Let's write that down, 2.07. Now, of course, teachers and parents, you know a common mistake that students will do is they will line everything up along the right, like this. And that doesn't make sense because this is a 1 in the 1's place, and this is in the 1's place. So we need to have those in the same column if we were to be modeling this in a place value chart. They would be going in the same column. Uh, so we're going to teach students that they're not going to line things up on the right. They're not even going to necessarily line things up on the left. They're going to essentially get like units stacked on top of each other. And really another way of saying that is line up the decimals like you can see right here. We've lined up the decimals, okay? So let's add. So you've got three thousandths and nothing down here, so that gives us three thousandths. We've got six hundredths plus seven hundredths, that gives us thirteen hundredths. So that's a three, carry the one into the tenths column. Then we have one tenth plus zero plus zero tenths, so that gives us one tenth total. Our decimal place is right here. And then we've got two units plus another two units gives us four whole numbers. So our answer is 4.133, and of course we should say kilometers is the total span of both bridges. And that wraps up our fifth grade module one, lesson nine, adding decimals using that standard algorithm.